Good morning, everyone. So today is Thursday, and I just wanted to like, oh well, let me tell you guys what I'm doing first. So this video is like gonna be about how much I spend in a week. Um, I wa I watched two videos of this, and I thought it was really interesting, just so I know like what I spend in a week. I think it'd be cool to like know and like to see if I have like spent too much on something or like if I literally don't spend any money at all. I just want to know. I spent $38 at Rite Aid. This stuff just like for my, for my makeup class, like stuff like this. Just cause like this is on sale so like it was $2. I was like okay. And then I got some of this, which Hazel just so I can like. So I'm gonna be taking the makeup class now. And I just needed to get some this for hair, and I needed more of these because I literally only had one pack and I needed way more. And then I got like a little lip scrub thing, and then some mascara ones, just like a little bit, just so I like know if I want to do it full time or not. And then this is like some nail polish that I got for myself so I could fix my nails. Yeah. So today's Friday and um, I forgot that yesterday I also spent $3.10 um, at the library for like some overdue fees and like to get a new library card. And then today I spent $14.27 at Stater Brothers just to get like a couple things that we needed to cupcakes for a party tomorrow so oh and then I spent early or today I went to LA so I spent like $25 for gas it's not exact but um I think it was like 20 it was in the, either 20 to 25 I don't know what range it was and I can double check and I'll just put it in because I paid with my card and I'll insert like all the things that I did that I spent with my card. Guys, I did just spend $35 on gas to go to LA. So. And today is Monday. Would be shocked if she did go home, but at the same time, she like. Friday, and we spent $23. I just got out of the max and I spent uh, $25. So today is Wednesday and this morning I spent $58 on gas um, and then I spent $35, well technically $25 because I had a discount at TJ Maxx, so yeah, we'll add it all up tomorrow at the end of the day and we'll post, you guys will be seeing this on Friday. Hater. Hater. Wee wee girl. Look at go wee wee girl. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hey, so I bought this no pore problem primer. And I heard from Kathleen Lyons that it's super good. So I'm excited to try that. And then I bought this Kupari um, eye, eye cream thing. And it's supposedly it is twenty eight dollars, and I got it only for four ninety nine. Four dollars. It has the price right there. So, and then I got this other one, just a makeup remover. I just thought it was a cool packaging, and I got it for a discount for six dollars instead of eight dollars. So yeah, you know. Basically, I just want to know how much I'm spending because I am planning on leaving you guys and moving to LA in the summer or fall time, you know, to escape the weather and escape you guys. <laughs> Okay, so I just added up how how much I spent, and I spent four hundred seventy eight and twenty seven twenty cents. So that's a lot. Normally, since I did buy makeup for my class and stuff, I spent two hundred seven on that. So normally, I would have spent like, however, four hundred seventy eight minus two hundred seven is. 
So, you know, like, yeah, whatever, however much that is. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool because I got, I learned that I don't spend much money <laughs> other than on gas. I did, I do spend a lot on that throughout the whole month, depending on how much, how many times I go to L.A. Because on a full tank, I can go twice to L.A. and then drive for like well, another I, week how much money do you where I live. Uh, I would probably waste, if I fill it up all the way every week, 40, 40, what's 40 times 5? Maybe $200 on gas. But I do go to LA, so, and that's 100, that's 40, no, that's 80 miles each way, so that's a lot of miles that I'm fucking putting on the car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I totally recommend you do it if you want to know like you know I am not going to be cutting back on anything that I am currently purchasing because literally I'm not purchasing things on stupid things that I absolutely do not need maybe on gas so maybe I should just move to LA but you guys I don't have I would have to get a job over there and I would have to like freaking I don't know, be okay with leave being alone without my family.